you need to start now. But you don't think it's worth it. There's an idea that's been inside of you for months, for years, that's been trying to come out. And you know what idea I'm talking about. That story idea that's been in your head for three years, for four years. That script, that film, that product, that app, that website, that clothing brand, whatever it is. That creative project that you have not been facing, that you have not allowed to come out. I think something that a lot of us struggle with is feeling confident that it's going to be worth the time to do this thing because we know it's going to be great. But I think that standard of what makes something great is often a distraction. At least compared to what I think is truly the most important reason why you need to do this creative project. And it's because of the evolution that's going to happen once you do it. It's because of the step forward in your journey. This is a hurdle that you've been ignoring, but you need to jump over it. You need to take that first step, that first leap, and actually do the creative project. And it doesn't mean staggering up to the ideal of what you've seen and other things like your idea. It means making something that's truly great to your soul, something you resonate with. And it's not just about this idea. It's about all the other ideas that are waiting to come out of you. All the other ideas that you probably have other than this one. But you have to start with one, that one that you're thinking of right now. And so that creative project, that creative idea that you have not been facing for the longest time, has to get done right now because you are going to see yourself upgrade in real time. You're going to see what's on the other side of this wall that you've been avoiding for months, for years. Also very important, that thing that's inside of you that's stopping you from doing that idea is not actually you. What you are is the part of yourself that has that idea, your soul, the essence of you. And the essence of you is much more powerful than the thing that's stopping you. And there's a lot of ways of doing this practically, this idea, this project that you're thinking of. Sometimes it's a matter of just setting a deadline and forcing yourself to get the thing done. And that's what I'm doing with this song. Right now, I'm giving myself a week to finish writing, recording, and producing this song that's been in my head for months, maybe even a year at this point. This is actually a separate YouTube video in and of itself. And I'm in the piano room right now, working on the lyrics, finishing the lyrics, finishing writing the song. And the reason that I'm doing this is to face the thing that a lot of you are facing right now, which is to get over the hurdle of this first creative project. I have a bunch of songs written and conceptualized, but none of them are gonna get done unless I actually start with one and finish it. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Back to the artist's journey, you're gonna stay at that level right there with that first project forever until you face that dragon. And so I'm facing that beast and I'm getting it done. I'm giving myself that deadline of a week. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the obvious thing, which is just to do it. And so what is that thing that you have to do? Make a deadline for yourself. Say enough is enough and just do it. The desk. This is where the dream work happens. If you're getting practical about doing that creative project, then you have to face this desk. And I use desk in a more metaphorical way. Maybe your desk is the canvas of the painting that you have in your head. Or the guitar that you gotta pick up so you can finally write that song. But whatever the desk is for you, you have to go to that desk so you can get the work done. And don't let it scare you, let it excite you. I'm facing the desk with that song I'm working on. Even this YouTube channel is something that's been in my head for years. I've always wanted to make YouTube videos, but then I hit a point last summer where I realized that it just wasn't gonna happen unless I got practical and actually started working at the desk and writing my ideas, my scripts, filming, editing, doing all of that work. And now I'm developing my voice within content, but it wasn't until I actually started making my first piece of intentional content that everything started coming together. And so you have to face this desk. And getting practical, here's the first thing that I want you to do with that idea, with that creative project that you've been thinking about this whole time during this video. If this is an idea that's been in your head for months, for years, that you have vivid details of, the first thing that you have to do is write that down. Start a doc on your laptop, get a journal, write down these details, these ideas, so that they're in a physical place. Don't risk losing that. This is a very powerful thing that you have right now. This is something that your soul has been keeping within itself for a long time. And now you have to start to face that thing that's been stopping it. And that first step is writing those ideas down, writing those details down. Then after you do that, I want you to write more ideas, new 
ideas than to conceptualize. Set a timer for 15 minutes. And like I said at the beginning, do it now. You have to do this creative project now. Just do it and schedule it or else you're going to risk pushing this off even longer, more than it has to. So when you sit down and set that timer, just write, just brainstorm any ideas, conceptualize all of those ideas. And so now with these new ideas, you're building more. You want to get into a creative flow with this project where you're picking ideas that resonate. Like I said before, this does not have to be great according to what other things have been before. Forget those definitions. Forget all of that. You have to make something that's truly great according to the heart, not to the mind, not to the rules. This is something that's so much more important than all of that. Because like I said, if this is something that's been inside of you for months and for years, that's your soul that has something that it's been trying to get out. And if you have something truly that special, then I promise it can be truly great, but not in the way of the standard that's been stopping you from starting in the first place. It'll be in the way that matters, the way that matters to your heart. You gotta make something that moves you, something that resonates. And with all this work that has to get done at the desk, it's no wonder that there is that strong resistance that stops us. And this stuff always goes deeper. Your reason for not starting is not going to be the same reason that I'm not starting. We're complicated beings. We have complicated reasons for things. A lot of the time, it's actually unprocessed trauma. Maybe you always grew up thinking that everything you created was bad because of something that someone said to you that stuck with you. And that belief building over time and being affirmed by your negative thinking is going to be a challenge for your soul to overcome. And so we all have these things, these different reasons, but the similarity between me and you is that it has to be overcome. It's a part of the journey and it can be overcome and it will be overcome. The essence of who you are is stronger than the thing stopping you. And as long as we let fear stop us from doing the thing that our soul has been telling us to do for years, we'll be stuck will be stuck at that level. And that is why right now is the best time to do it. No more thinking about it. Right now, you need to start that creative project right now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos like these. Good luck in your artist's journey. Dream on. Peace out.